What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel starts another little mini-series. Um, I was doing a mini-series on chasing the best work footwear. Um, now we're going to start some stuff on some work socks. So um, I'm about to set up for this, so you stay tuned. guys so first and foremost this is going to be on the first pair of socks that I'm testing and those are darn tough socks so these are made of merino wool um, they have a let me get you the exact number on the blend they're 64% merino wool 33% nylon and 3% spandex um, my feet sweat a lot so whether I'm in a boot that is uh, vented or a boot that is waterproof uh, Gore-Tex or you know something like that my feet sweat a bunch regardless um, they even sweat in tennis shoes a lot so um, I have a problem with my feet getting too hot um, merino wool is great for moisture wicking it's antibacterial um, and, and it's just good all around for people that have sweaty feet or are doing some rigorous activity that you know your feet might sweat in so I've worn these um, going on about 20 times now um, I don't wash them every single time. Um, if I if I don't um, if I don't uh, you know sweat in them a lot that day, I will simply air them out on my boot dryer. If you haven't checked out my boot dryer, I got a video for that. Um, air them out on the boot dryer, and then they can be washed uh, after a couple wears. Or if you sweat a lot, or you're doing a lot of uh, heavy work, um, then you can wash them. One thing about merino wool is you do want to wash them inside out. Um, this keeps the merino wool from shrinking. It will happen fast if you wash them like regular socks. Um, they will shrink up on you. Um, so always take that precaution. If you don't know a lot about merino wool or just wool socks in general, um, Google it. Um, just like I did. Uh, learn a little bit about it, how to take care of them. Um, Rambo, get down. Um, and then you know, so, so you take care of your investment. And these socks are an investment at one pair costing 25 bucks. So um, as far as just throwing out all of your old socks and upgrading to, uh, you know, a whole darn tough line, let's say you buy seven pairs, that just got expensive. So uh, th there's no reason to buy almost $200 in socks right off the rip. Um, that's why I'm, I'm going to jump around to a couple different socks and we're going to test them out and we'll see how they do. These are very comfortable. They, they, uh, they last a lot longer before they get wet than regular synthetic socks. So what I was wearing, what I usually wear are some and one um, synthetic socks. I picked these up at Walmart. Um, they come in a... Uh, and like you know one of those big 20 packs or whatever um, and they're fairly cheap they're around a couple dollars uh, per pair they're not really that expensive at all um, I really like these because they are uh, tight around my feet and they don't move around a lot they're not very thick um, and I've had good luck with them um, I used to wear Dickies cotton socks and those just get saturated in sweat so if your feet are, are if you're a heavy sweater and your feet get really wet uh, go to a synthetic sock or you can jump right into a darn tough sock. But, um, you know, when you only have one pair, uh, wear them like every other day. Uh, I, I don't have enough pairs to uh, wear them all the time, everything I do. But they have been really good to me. Um, I don't regret spending the $25 whatsoever. Um, it's a little steep for me to, you know, uh, get rid of my entire collection and go to 100% merino wool. Um, Obviously, this video is coming out in the summertime, so it is very hot. You know, when you're working in a boot, uh, an 8-inch boot for that matter, in 90-degree weather, I mean, you're inevitably going to sweat. So these have done very well. Um, sometimes when I'm working hard, I change these synthetic socks twice a day. So these, you know, will last me a full day um, and not really be all that wet when you take them off. So um, th they're definitely doing their job of moisture wicking. So uh, the, the reason why I wanted to start this little mini series is, you know, for that conversation of are these socks really worth it? But trying to find uh, kind of the best merino wool. So let's go over a couple options here. So 
these are the darn tough hiker hiker uh, uh, I want to get the exact thing I will roll it in here the hiker boot sock cushion they're 25 bucks a piece no matter where you get them from they have uh, minimum advertised pricing so you're gonna pay $25 pretty much everywhere um, I didn't check on Amazon but I'm pretty sure you're gonna pay that minimum advertised price another one that I'm looking into would be the Merino hiker from uh, Fox River and that is 55% Merino wool a little bit less uh, everybody has their little uh, their little recipe. Uh, those merino wools from Fox River are 55% merino, 43% nylon, and 2% spandex. So they're all going to be, you know, right about the same thing. Everybody's going to have their own opinion on what what formula they should use. The third sock that I'd like to test is the uh, the thermal socks from Filson. I think these probably are going to be out of the question because. Um, if you don't know anything about Filson, they're a very expensive uh, clothing company, but they make really, really nice stuff. Um, their, their logger socks, their logger thermal socks are $32 a pair. So it's probably going to be out of the question for me to test something like that. Probably going to go towards, you know, $25 and under. So I forgot to go back. That Fox River set was only $15. Bucks. So it, we talk more along the $20, $15. That's more manageable. When you talk about a $32 sock pair, uh, that, that's getting a little ridiculous when you talk about, you know, just one pair. So um, their proprietary blend there is, um, well, man, they have a novel. 50% uh, merino, 30% wool, 10% nylon, 9% acrylic, and 1% spandex. So, and they're made in the U.S. with imported materials. So, they might not be as even as good as the Fox River or what we have here, the Darn Tough. So, I'm really looking forward to putting a lot more miles on these socks. Um, they've been absolutely comfortable so far. Um, they're, they're pretty darn good. Um, I have a friend that it has basically bought into the whole Darn Tough thing, and he's uh, replaced his... Uh, full week supply worth of socks with some darn tufts. Even got the uh, low profile crew socks for his tennis shoes. So, um, might go there in the future, but as of right now, we're still testing and figuring out you know, is it a fluke that I like these? Is it kind of a placebo effect that you, know, you spend some good money on a sock and just naturally think they're doing better? Um, I don't know. So, I'm going to keep testing them, keep trying them. We'll probably do an update and uh, we'll, we'll try some more socks and we'll go on this little mini series together and uh, we'll see exactly. I don't, I don't think I want to invest a lot of money into um, trying different ones. Uh, these are all lifetime warranty. If you, uh, if you tear them up, you wear a hole in them, you send them back. I think you just send a picture to them and let's go into the warranty right now. So if you're looking at darn tough uh, socks and that's the reason why you found my video our unconditional lifetime guarantee is simple with no strings or conditions if our socks are not the most comfortable durable and best fitting socks you've ever owned return them for another pair so uh, yeah basically if you get any hole or anything it's unconditionally guaranteed so it's good stuff I've, I've heard a lot of good things about it and, and I, I like that idea so uh, if, if you're if you're really buying into it, guess what? You don't buy another sock the rest of your life. Man, that sounds good. Sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty promising. Um, I'm certainly probably spent a lot more money in and one socks or Dickies socks for that matter. So um, we'll just see how it goes, and I'll keep trying them on. We'll try some other brands, and um, I hope you guys enjoy this mini series. So if you like it. Give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down, whatever you're into. Um, interact with me in the comments. Let's talk about the topic. Um, if you're a sock person, if you know something I should try, if you want to educate me on something that I'm not, uh, that I don't know about, then obviously put it in the comments below so that we can uh, learn together. So, uh, as always, you guys, uh, I hope to see you click that subscribe button. And if you haven't rang that bell already, ring that bell because I'm coming out with videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at noon. If 
you're one of my subscribers already, thank you for sticking around the channel, and we'll see you guys in the next video.